Hello everyone. Once again, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we shall be discussing on how to calculate and evaluate the magnitude of an acceleration of a car traveling at maximum power. Now, let's read out the question given. A car of mass 1,200 kilogram has an engine with a maximum power of 15,000 watts. What is the magnitude of the acceleration of the car when it's traveling at 20 meters per second on the level with the car engine working at the maximum power and the resistance of the motion is given to be 90 Newton. Once again, a car of mass 1,200 kilogram has an engine with a maximum power of 15,000 watts. What is the magnitude of the accelerations of the car when it's traveling at 20 meters per second on the level with the car engine working at the maximum power and the resistance of the motion is given to be 90 Newton. Now, but using the diagram illustrated below here, we have a car of mass 1200 traveling with a resistance force of 90 Newton with a velocity of 20 meters per second with a driving force pointing towards this direction which is positive and the resistance pointing this way negative direction. Now let's pull out our parameters from our question. Our parameters are our mass m 1,200 kilogram, the maximum power, 15,000 watts, our traveling velocity of the car, 20 meters per second, the resistance to the car movement, 90 Newton, which is negative because it's pointing towards the negative side. Now, our net force that is total force which equals minus r plus f because this is minus r plus f therefore so therefore our f net total net total force equals driving force minus resistance so therefore f net equals f minus r now our maximum power p max equals the product of the speed and the driving force. Now, so that F equals P max over V. Now, by slotting our values, we have 15,000 over 20. So therefore, our driving force F equals 750 Newton. Now, by using the formula here, F net equals driving force minus resistance. So therefore, we have F net equals 750 minus 90, which gives us 660 Newton. 660 Newton. Now, by using second law of motion, we have F equals mass times the acceleration that is second law of motion which equals force equals product of mass of a body to its acceleration so therefore we have our acceleration equals f net over mass so our acceleration equals 660 being given over here over the total mass of, a, of our car, which is 1,200 kilograms. So therefore, 
our acceleration equals 660 over 1200, which gives us 0.55 meter per second square. So therefore, our acceleration and the, or the magnitude of acceleration of our traveling car equals 0.55 meter per second squared. Thank you very much.